The first one I'll talk about is the cut. This is where you lift and replace your finger very quickly and it's typically a finger above the note you're playing. So for example, if you're playing the G, you would use your first finger. And you can use it on one note or moving to a different note. Similarly with this one, you'd use the second finger. The tap is the opposite way around, so you put a finger down and take it away very quickly, actually just tapping. typically you have a starting note, you, you go up, down, down, up. You could also go down and up. But I'm not sure how traditional that is. Um, and then you also have kind of finger beating or finger vibrato for a long note. And that's typically the finger two below the one you're playing. So if you're playing the G, you skip a finger and then you use this one. You also have slides. This is where you slowly remove or slowly replace a finger to slide from one note to the next. Slides are often used in slower music, in slow airs or ballads, um, and they're often used in conjunction with the finger vibrato as well, for example. And I'm talking about traditional ornaments here, kind of for the purpose of context. So we get an idea of what exists in comparison with contemporary music. If you really want to go into traditional Irish folk ornaments, on the internet there are lots and lots of resources. So if you want to go deeper into that, that's great, go and search for it. But my way is definitely not the only way, so if you disagree with me, that's fine. Other ways you can use your fingers are with a lot of the traditional ornaments that we've seen already, but you can also extend them. For example, a tap could be repeated. A sort of trill. And if you kind of shake your fingers, you can make a very fast trill. brings us to the burble and a burble is where you take one finger and move it back and forth across the open holes. Just be careful not to drop it. A whistle can also play really nice fast chords by taking two fingers on different hands and then you go open, open, close, close, open, open, close, close. And this is actually a combination of cuts and taps.
because the fingers are on two different hands, it's actually a lot slower because what you're essentially doing is this. But next to each other. Random fingering is also a really nice effect. Combined with changes of airstream. Or articulation. You can also use your fingers to cover the labium and make a very high sound. Your fingers can also play the whistle without blowing. Sort of raindrops. You could use jewellery. Or like so. All kinds of percussive effects. 